Okay. So we've got this thing here. It says factorize, which we need to put into brackets. So I want to find the, the highest common factor. Of these two things. So the biggest number that goes into both is 9. There's an x squared and x, so an x goes into both. There's a y and a y cubed, so a single y goes into both. So all that four there tells me that I need 9 xy outside the bracket. And I have a subtract in between, and I need to work out how to get to 27x squared y. Well, 3 will get me to 27, and x will get me to x squared, and I already have the y. Here I need 9 4s. 4 times 9 gives me the minus 36, or 4 times minus 4 times 9. I have my x. I need a y cubed, and I've only got a y, so I need to put a I squared him. There are other, other ways to factorize it, but we won't have necessarily have the highest common factor here on the outside. Okay, the biggest number that goes into both. Well, what this means is the numerator stays as that, and the denominator. looks like that. And then what I can do is because there's the same bracket on the top and the bottom it means I can cancel them out and I'm just left with 3 is my numerator and an x plus 2 as my denominator. Right. Well, factorize means you've got to make sure it goes into two brackets. So, and I'm going to split my 6x squared up into 2x and a 3x. Now, I need the combinations of what multiplies to make minus 5. So the ways to make minus 5 are, I can have minus 1 times 5. And have 1 times minus 5. I just have to work out which one of those in which combination goes in here. Well, if I times one of the 5s by 3x, I'm going to get way out. I'm either going to get 15x or I'm going to get uh, minus 15x. So I reckon the one of the 5s has to go in here, and that means the 1 has to go in here. But I don't know which one of these two options yet. So let's have a think. Well, 2x times 5 is going to give me 10x, but I want a negative, so I think that's going to be negative 10x, and on the 3x gives me the 7x, minus 7x, okay? If you, can, if you want to check it, you can expand it and check that it still works. What I'm going to do here is I'm going to type both sides by 6. So there's a 6 as a denominator here and a 2 and a 3. So if I times both sides by 6, I'm going to get 2 lots of 2x minus 1 plus 3 lots of x plus 3 because the 6 divides by 2 to give 3, 6 divides by 3 to give 2, and 6 cancels out and just leaves me with 5. Expand my brackets. 4x minus 2 plus 3x plus 9 is equal to 5. So 4 and 3 make 7x. 9 minus 2 makes plus 7 equals to 5. And then I'm going to take away 7 both sides. 7x is equal to minus 2. x is equal to minus 2 divided by. So, and that's my solution. Check you understand what I did on each step here.